Sussex lost all inheritance. Queen inherits Prince William to replace Harry on poignant ceremony. Prince Harry had previously stepped in to lay the wreath on behalf of the Queen at the Anzac Day ceremony at the Senate off multiple times up until he stepped down from royal duties in 2020. Prince William has taken over a poignant job from his younger brother Prince Harry. The elder sibling, and second in line to the throne, will lay a wreath on behalf of the Queen at the Anzac Day ceremony at the Senate off, Kensington Palace has announced. The 95-year-old monarch has been forced to pull out of a number of public appearances for health reasons in recent months. It comes after she shed a tear at late husband Prince Philip's memorial service at the end of March, having been determined to attend no matter what her condition. Harry, 37, had previously been the grandson she had turned to to lay the wreath on her behalf in 2016, 2018 and 2019. However, he stepped down as a working royal the following year and moved to the U.S. He has since said he worries for his and his family's safety if he returns to Britain without the royal level protection members of the firm receive from the Met. William, 39, will also remember Australians and New Zealanders who have lost their lives in conflict by attending a service of Thanksgiving at Westminster Abbey. The two events fall on April 25 and will follow a dawn service at Wellington Arch at London's Hyde Park Corner which will be attended by the Queen's cousin the Duke of Gloucester. Some 300 to 400 former and serving military personnel and their families and members of veterans associations will gather at the Cenotaph for the wreath laying. The traditional church service in the Abbey will feature an address by the Dean of Westminster, readings from the New Zealand and Australian High Commissioners, prayers read by children of each country, and the Maori Wa Iata performed by London-based Nati Rana a London Maori Club. It has become customary for other members of the family to lay the wreath on the Queen's behalf in recent years. The Duke of Sussex did so in 2016 and 2018, and attended the Abbey service with his sister-in-law Kate in 2019 just days before the birth of his son Archie. William marked Anzac Day in 2021 by sending a message to the New Zealand and Australian High Commissions in London, saying, Today we stand together to reflect not only on their sacrifices, but also their courage, sense of duty, and their famously indomitable spirit. The Duke was on a two-day trip to New Zealand in 2019 to honour the victims of the Christchurch terrorist attack, and laid a wreath during an Anzac Day memorial service in Auckland. The Princess Royal attended last year's dawn service and the gathering in the Abbey. It comes after a royal expert said the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have been left with a tough workload due to the Sussexes' departure. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have announced two new partnerships in a bid to tackle misinformation. The couple is partnering with Cortico's Local Voices Network, a collaboration with MIT's Centre for Constructive Communication and the Institute for Rebooting Social Media. Meghan and Harry said they are looking to create an online community rooted in equity, safety, participation, and belonging, saying they don't trust basic information. The couple already has ongoing partnerships with UCLA Center for Critical Internet Inquiry, C2I2, Color of Change and URL Media, all of which are part of an attempt to improve our digital community. In a statement from their organization Archul, they said, in a relatively short period of time, the digital age has rewritten how we experience everyday life. In many ways, technology has connected us, made our lives more productive, and allowed people in every part of the world to organize for change and support communities in need. Yet this age has also ushered in significant consequences. We don't trust basic information, the safety and health of our kids are at risk, civil rights and human rights are being threatened, and marginalized communities are being targeted by a barrage of hate and vitriol.